Hello, I'm Deputy Chief Foster. I'm here to give you an overview of Race Matters for Juvenile Justice and the Racial Equity Institute workshop. In 2010, the CMPD began working with Race Matters for Juvenile Justice. ArmJJ is Race Matters for Juvenile Justice. It is a collaborative leadership team formed by the juvenile judges of North Carolina's 26th district. ArmJJ brings together legal officials, system experts, service providers, and community members who have set an agenda to reduce in disproportionality and disparate outcomes in our juvenile justice system. Several of ArmJJ's partners include the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, the District Attorney's Office, Department of Social Services, Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools, and many other agencies. Workforce development is one of the six dimensions of change that ArmJJ uses to achieve its goal. RMJJ, in partnership with the Racial Equity Institute, co-hosts an intense workshop series entitled Racial Equity, also known as Dismantling Racism. The training is designed to build the capacity of educators, health practitioners, law enforcement, other professionals, and community members who are interested in understanding and eliminating racial inequities, disparities, and disproportionality within our society. This training is not about race relations or individual acts by any one person. The focus is on structured systemic issues that still exist today. Many are ingrained in our everyday life and business, most of which, if it has never impacted us, we've never thought about it. Generally, what doesn't resonate with you oftentimes is due to the fact that you may not have had similar experiences. The data clearly shows there are disparities in all our systems and our goal is to ensure equal treatment of all people as an agency. It is easy to explain why some numbers are higher than others. That is the easy part to explain. It's the fundamental issues where one child has one opportunity and another one doesn't based on either biases or systemic procedures. Several topics that will be discussed during the workshop are implicit bias, power analysis, the history of race, history of affirmative action, and privilege. Remember, things some people take for granted are not felt by all. Ask yourself, why do I feel this way? And remember, this is not an individual act by you, but it does cause you to step outside yourself for a minute and think of how other people may have felt and still feel to this day. The goal is social awareness, to understand why some areas are developed and designed the way they are, to know why a segment of population's health and education opportunities in a particular area are low. Think of how hard it is for you at that very moment in class and then think how someone else not like you may feel. We do not expect you to leave the class with a solution or know exactly what to do next, but we do expect for it to enhance your knowledge of structural racism, understanding that this has nothing to do with individual acts of ill will. However, it has everything to do with embedded systemic arrangements within our society. Professor John Powell once said, institutional practices and cultural patterns can perpetuate racial inequities.